Welcome to Slow and Steady, the podcast where you get to follow along as you figure out how to build and run a SaaS. I'm Benedict. And I'm Brian. Each week, we'll give you an honest peek into our lives as we work on our products and keep the lights on by any means necessary. Today is March 3rd, and I am feeling hopeful. This is episode number 31, and I'm feeling a bit sluggish. Ooh, what's got you sluggish? I don't know. I had a slow start into the week, like taking a few days off and then the weekend and then yeah yesterday i wasn't as productive as i wanted to Uh and today i still feels a little bit slow so yeah yeah, hopefully i'll get get into the groove tomorrow Tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) by the end of the week on friday i will i will be super productive (laughs) and then take the weekend you um so because you're pretty you're at the end of your work day today now right yeah, almost. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow kicks off a bit better for you. We'll see. Yeah, I will see. I mean, I made some progress, but it's not as much as, as I'd hoped for. Gotcha. So you, because you took a couple days, you were traveling at the end of last at the end of last week after we talked. Yeah, basically left on. On Wednesday, when this episode come out, came out, I was on a train retweeting, <laughs> retweeting the, the auto-generated tweet by Transistor, <laughs> and uh, were on my on my way to Munich and had a great time there. And I saw the first snow this winter. <laughs> wow! And apparently, there was even snow in Darmstadt, where I usually live, but I was out of town, so okay. I didn't witness it. <laughs> so it usually it usually does not snow for you it it did in every like in the past years it did uh, even though it was like just a day or two Mm -hmm. um but this year so far we didn't have any snow nothing at all wow so yeah that was interesting yeah that's no good it's no good well how was (laughs) how was uh how was Cirque du Soleil it was amazing like I'm nice I'm, whenever I see like um, a a recording of their productions or like this one that I attended, it's amazing like how how great work they do and so many things like the, the artistic wise like doing all these stunts and stuff that's yeah. amazing but also like the music performance, mm-hmm. songwriting, lighting, mm-hmm. um, even engineering the stage they had. Like it, it, it had some sort of hydraulics or something, and <laughs> it's, it's amazing on so many levels. So yeah. it was great. I had a lot of fun. That's awesome. I'm so glad you glad you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it's always it's always fun to see like a some sort of performance or some prof- like just a group of professionals completely at the top of their game, putting something. Yeah, in. yeah. Um, my family is going to see spongebob squarepants the musical in denver in a in a week or two and benedict i i suspect it may give cirque du soleil a run for its money <laughs> maybe <laughs> probably not um <laughs> i guess it will be more fun i will <laughs> I don't, maybe. No, I don't know. yeah it, it will it will definitely be uh bombastic and, and very colorful so i will uh <laughs> I'll keep you posted on that one. That's awesome. So, did your uh, and you you went with your uh, your family or your your dad or what, who was the whole group that went to Cirque? Yeah, uh, my girlfriend and my my parents nice. and my uncle also joined by cool. surprise, more or less. All right. Um, yeah, and we had a nice evening. It was it was cool. Fantastic. That's cool. Well, so I I got um, uh, and I'm sure some other folks saw this as well, but got a email from Jane at user list asking for some in-app messaging testing and some requests on social media to test it. How's that all going? Yeah. Like in hindsight, it looks like a genius move, like uh, announcing the feature, demoing the feature, asking for feedback all in one. Uh, but it was like almost by accident. Um, we were planning to set, to announce the feature to, to our uh, existing customers. Mm-hmm. And while, while we're doing it, um, uh, preparing it, uh, Jane ran into an issue with um, her version of Safari. It, for some reason, didn't work. And she was like, yeah, I'm not sure if we should send it out. Huh. And 
I was like, yeah, but then again, what's the point of testing it? Like <laughs> the more people we get to use it, the, the better the feedback we get and the better we can Wider iron range. out all the issues. Yeah. And that was the point. Like, hmm, maybe we should just announce to everyone then. <laughs> hey, does so, this work for you? And that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so then, yeah, that's, I mean, everybody I saw mentioning it was like, hey, works great for me. So how did, how did that all go? Yeah, it, it worked for most people. Um, it didn't work on some, like, IE11, of course, didn't yeah, work. Gosh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure how much time I want to spend on that. Yeah. Uh, and also some some weird issues, like someone mentioned it doesn't work on Safari on iOS with the latest versions. Okay. But I tested it with my phone and it did work. So mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what's what's happening. What's happening, but yep. I mean that's the whole point of this, of of letting people test so that we can identify where there are problems yeah. and then yeah, of course dig into them because there's no way we could we could test on I mean, all these different platforms. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't even yeah. every OS on every apparently device there's on, yeah. yeah there's Opera on Android. I didn't even know that's a <laughs> thing. <laughs> so <laughs> there's some weird combinations in there that I didn't that, that yeah. I wouldn't have tested. So yes. I think it was yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Well, cool. Good. Good luck. What are What are the next? So, do you have some development uh, action steps to come out of that? That a couple things you're gonna sort out, or what, yeah, what came out I, I definitely look into into some of those problems. And also, one of our existing customers replied and was like, "Yeah, it works for me, and I want to use this in my app." So, um, I'm I'm going to set them up uh, maybe later today or tomorrow. Nice. And um, that was a also a good time to start working on. Um, we have those libraries for Rails and stuff, and apparently they are Rails apps. So I'm I'm adding all the in-app messaging features cool. to the to the Ruby gem and using that as an opportunity to ship that piece of code and then forward it to yep. them and let them integrate it and see see how this goes. Love it. Get some first-hand feedback. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. What so um, uh, in terms of your like the spectrum of customers you have with not much traffic or tons and tons of traffic that that user where do they kind of fit in the in the spectrum? That's a good question. I I don't actually know. I think it's somewhere in the middle. Cool. They have a launched app that's out there. So and I, they have a couple of paying users. Yeah. So I don't I don't right. I don't really know. Like, let me check real quick. Uh, how many users? Okay, yeah, they're in the basic plan, but um, yeah, I think it it's okay. Cool, but like, I mean, a a decent a decent amount of traffic, so that you can be. Just wondering, like, how how likely. Um, or how how certain can you be that if they use this for a couple of weeks, relatively error free, that that gives you a fair amount of that gives you some good certainty. I don't know yeah. to be honest. Yeah. We we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I I don't think it will be a problem like performance wise or, or putting too much load on the uh -huh. on the servers. I think they are small enough that it doesn't matter. But it will be interesting to just like see where it works, where it doesn't work. Yeah, which users are getting the yeah, messages exactly. and which aren't and stuff for like that. Their, for their users across that whole combination yeah. of platforms and OS that we were talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, will be exciting. Cool. Um, looking forward to that. Yeah. What else you got? Um, we made a <laughs> kind of expensive mistake yesterday. Oh, no. Um, we recently ordered our debit cards for the new bank account. And they did. They only ship inside of the US. So we set up the mailbox and got okay. them there. And they this, arrived yesterday. Can I jump? Is this Mercury? Is yeah. The bank? This okay. Is so Mercury, Mercury is the yeah. bank that y'all have ended up going with. And for international yeah. founders, it feels like a pretty good solution. At least they let us sign up and okay. verify our identities and stuff like okay. that. So that that was good. Okay. Uh, but like the debit cards. For the for the account, they only ship them within the US. I have a I have a, s a slight feeling that that they're, they're using um, Stripe Stripe issuing or what it's called, like the new service where they print credit cards and stuff and send them out. 
I don't know, just a yeah. just a suspicion. But they don't ship to Europe and uh, to Russia, and um, so we set up this virtual mailbox that basically receives the mail and then either scans it or forwards it. And the cars arrived on Saturday, I think, or on Friday, and we requested a forward to um, Jane's home address in Russia and my home address in uh, in Germany. And it didn't say say anything ab- about the rates, like the shipping rates. <laughs> We're like, yeah, okay. I mean, how how expensive well, can, can it, it yeah. be? <laughs> it's it's very thin and very light. <laughs> it's very thin and very light. We ended up like to ship it to Germany. We ended up paying fifty dollars, and to ship it to Russia, we paid a hundred dollars. <laughs> Man, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned: Next time, ask for the correct rates. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, I suppose in the whole in the whole grand scheme of things, to get <laughs> to get your banking, yeah, locked I, down and in place, you know. Yeah, I, it's it's a, it's an expensive mistake, but it's I mean, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. um, Recoverable for sure. Yeah. Upside is, like according to the tracking, it will arrive today at my house later All today. Right. Um, so All right. it took like a little bit over twenty four hours, which then again is impressive. That is very impressive. Still, too. Uh, <laughs> still, I I feel like it's a little bit too expensive for well. just a small letter. Well, but then I again, mean, yeah. Now one small late, letter across already. multiple modes yeah. of transportation in a in an ocean. So pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. remarkable feat, as we said. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, lesson learned there. Next time, ask for the rate uh, <laughs> ahead of time. <laughs> um, and other than that, I think nothing spectacular happened. I mean, most of the time I was in Munich. And um, yesterday I didn't get that much done. Today a little bit, and yeah, let's see how the rest of the week works out. Um, there is a new edition of the Userlist Happy Hours coming up on Thursday, and this episode comes out on Wednesday. So this nice. time there's maybe even a chance that yeah, announcing it in here makes right. actually sense. This will make sense <laughs> if you're listening. Put it on your calendar. <laughs> So it's um, 11 a.m. EST. Um, so in your morning, more or less, and in my yeah. evening. Yep. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So far, it's always been interesting, cool. uh, even though the number of participants varies quite a bit. Just, yeah. I mean, yeah, you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna yeah. get. And and y'all don't y'all don't set a topic, right? People hop in and ask, like, talk about what they're struggling with or what questions they have. We don't set a topic ahead of time, but we we started preparing a topic or at least thinking about a topic yeah. and then use that as a conversation starter. But so far, at some point, the conversation just went off track and into wants, other so, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah, and another interest, talking about other interesting aspects. And um, yeah, we see. We haven't decided what the topic for this one will be. I cool. think we just do it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, on the fly. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, so, so the format, the format of user list, hap, uh, yeah, happy hours, it's, it's live and y'all don't record it and, and share it afterwards. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We thought about uh, recording it and I think we recorded the first episode or so, uh-huh. but then someone on the call started sharing like, oh yeah, yeah. Numbers that's and stuff. Totally. And yes. And, and and specific tactics that were very useful to everyone there, but they, of course they didn't want it to be I was recorded. On that one. And I yeah, yeah, I still think about that tactic actually. Um, yeah, that was a good one. It was a, that was a good one. I think so. The, what I was the reason I was asking and what I was getting to is something I think about for this show and for bright and early also is um uh be, for for listeners to be able to like send voicemails. Or like a simple way for people to just like send an audio file somewhere and then you can read the question on air or, you know, like could go ahead and record it now and send it into Usualist Happy Hour. Um, and then whether or not I'm able to attend, the question gets mm. brought up. But yeah, I mean, I think for your format, you're totally right that the 
Yeah. The impermanence and the confidentiality in the moment is pretty, pretty key, right? It turned out to be easier to have like honest conversations about stuff totally. when the recording isn't running. Yep. Okay. Um, our yep. initial plan was to totally yep. record it and publish it and basically reuse it because it's in a way it's a lost opportunity. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I feel like at this uh, at this stage the conversations are actually very interesting and um, we get more out of the converse- conversations ourselves than we. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, then mm-hmm. when we would record it and just publish it afterwards, I think that removes some of the honesty and some of the, yeah, yeah, yeah the true. level of pe- what people are willing to share. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Anything else, man? Uh, no, I think that's it okay. this week. There's nothing, nothing else I can think of. Okay. What about your week? What's going on? Um, well, as as promised last week, I I hung up from our our call, and I recorded my proposal for my attendee talk at MicroConf. Um, actually, yeah, and so say actually, I'm pretty sure I actually published our this our episode, <laughs> and then and then got and then got right to it. Um, and so yeah, fingers crossed that that'll uh, that that'll all go good and well and then of course um i i posted this was actually just yesterday though but um you know i think the big the big thing for me from the previous week has been really digging in on the job uh, on the job search um mm-hmm. and so let's see i what's the what's the latest i had a where where was i at last last week had i had like an introductory interview with GitLab last week when we recorded. I don't think so. I'm not. Sure. You mentioned I, it at some point, but that yeah. might have been. Yeah, but I had slack. like. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after after that, uh, yeah. No, this was this was Thursday or Friday. Um, you know, official first interview of of several um, that went really well, and so pretty pretty excited about pretty excited about that one. Um, but and putting it out there on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. Like I'm, I'm officially looking and getting some, yeah, getting some pretty good leads. So I'll need to follow up on those and, and see how it all, see how it all goes. But it, it certainly at this point looks like there will, I don't know exactly where, but it, it looks like, you know, keep my, keep my focus on this for some number of weeks and I, I'm pretty, pretty hopeful, pretty optimistic that there's going to be a good, going to be a good fit, you know, by the, by the end of March, I suppose. Nice. So, so you're basically in discovery phase, collecting all the job, uh, <laughs> open, open positions and, yeah. and, and applying. Yes, actually, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. So getting, uh, getting a good, good little list going, start lining up some more, I guess, conversations and, yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see where it lands. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is exciting. Um, it's good to see you making progress. Yeah, yeah. No, it feels it. I think that's the other the, the good thing that has come of it is as as you know a, as it has moved along and like really thinking through it, um, and have had a you know really good. Uh, lunch with a with a startup in Boulder that is actually very very exciting as well. Like the idea of okay, this does feel right. This this does. I'm not like dipping my toe in and being like, what are you? No 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 no. It feels like it feels like it's the right move. Um, so that's kind of that's the clarity that I've been hoping for. You know, to to know if I start moving down this direction, is it the right? Is it the right one? And it sure feels like it right now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean that that was kind of the goal as well, right? Figure out what you actually want. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's that's where that is. Um yesterday I uh I interviewed the for, for Bright and Early, um, interviewed the head of remote uh at GitLab. Coincidentally, I mean I had set this up, you know, with, with him before I'd even considered, you know, <laughs> um yeah. a, a full time thing. Um but that was man that was a really uh uh it was a good good conversation just keeps 
the the remote work series over on bright and early just keeps turning up some new insights and resources and interesting things and i yeah i'm excited to publish that one um they've they just do everything you know completely transparent have all these resources out there and i'm just like looking through their onboarding you know issue template and like okay, this is a, this is a product. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is, this is really, really fascinating the way that they do this. So um, that was a good, it was a good conversation. Yeah. Cool. Cool guy. Nice. Did, did he know that you're currently applying for a job? Uh, he did not. I mean, at the, at the very end, like after, after the interview was over with and like <laughs> saying goodbye, you know, I, I definitely mentioned it, <laughs> but, uh, but no, not he, not, not beforehand and, and not during or anything, but, um, yeah, yeah. There's just, there's a lot of really fascinating stuff going on in the whole remote work scene. And it's, I'm just like wanting to stay right in the middle of it, no matter what, you know, happens on the full-time situation. Yeah. Like, want to yeah. stay right in the middle of it. I've got this list of, you know, 20, 20 article titles for headlamp that I want to write public thing. I'm like halfway through another one found some time to work on it, um, over the last week. So just want to keep just adding stuff out there and just continuing to be part of the conversation, not disappear. Um, whatever role I take will hopefully, you know, uh, just, just amplify it even more and not, not take away. So we yeah. Shall, yeah. We shall see. You're looking for a remote position, right? Even with the startup in, in Boulder? I either either remote first anywhere or remote at least remote friendly in in mm -hmm. Boulder. And yeah, in this 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 company they've got I mean, they have two they have two locations, but they're it's Denver and Boulder. I mean it's two it's two close locations. Um And, you know, they don't work remote, um, first by default, um, but they're starting to, they're, they're growing. And so they're starting to hire. Um, and that was one of the things we talked about was, okay, will these hires be in the office or remote? And is there like a potential to have a, a role in setting that strategy? And yes, there is like, there, there's some, you know, bunch of things about it that are, nice. there are quite a few things yeah, about it that cool. are really, really appealing. So we Let's see where that one goes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So it's been it's been a ride. It's it still is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you expect to have a decision or an offer by the end of the month or I, I mean it's March March the third. And so yeah. if if on March 30th 31st however many days march <laughs> if whatever. at the end of whatever if at the end of march i don't have a really really gr good idea of where it's gonna of where i'm gonna land that'll that'll feel like that'll feel like too slow mm -hmm. um yeah so that's that's i think that's what my timeline feels like right now end of the month cool yeah it doesn't sound unrealistic i mean it should be it should be able to work out by then. I, yeah. I mean, you're only so much in control of, of that timeline I, with all the right. third parties involved, but I know that's, that's the part of it that yeah. already feels that already feels a little bit frustrating is, um, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's priority one for me, but on the yeah. other side of the conversation, you know, it's one of, you know, dozens of important things that, that people are juggling, you know, And, and it just probably even one of a uh, hundred applications or something yes, like that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So the, oh man, <laughs> the, the imbalance of the imbalance of priority and importance when you're the job seeker versus mm. the, versus the hire is just maddening sometimes. And yeah. Yeah. So you like put all this, put all this thought and effort into a, into a letter and into responses and then you get like you know a one sentence impersonal reply from someone who's like ah oh, <laughs> come on that's that stings yeah yeah so cool. that's that's me that is me yeah sounds like this will be a quick episode this week yeah yep it's good good chatting 
yeah uh, maybe i'll see you um, uh maybe i'll see you thursday morning at uh user list at a happy hours yeah. happy hours yep that would be cool so yeah then uh show notes at slow and steady podcast.com and follow us on twitter slow steady pod see, see you, you next week, week. bye